Hey guys, Classic Homer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. So, we're in Remolder now. And I'm just going to walk around and check everything. Looks like they're continuing their trope of the couple who's on the... trying to meet each other at the wrong ends of town. Can they find each other? Hmm. That's kind of interesting. You know, apparently wants to see my magic key. I really don't care. Can have it for all it's worth to me. After all, I have the ultimate key. I also have another small medal that should put me up to 93. I believe I miscounted in the last actual episode, but I made up for it in the Pachisi track bonus episode. Found another one, so. I'm at 93. There should be two more somewhere around town. And if I get them, I should end up having enough. Uh, small medals to go and get the Sacred Bikini, which is probably the best actual piece of equipment in the game. Yeah, Remolder. I think I was calling it by the wrong name before. And I should mention that I got lucky enough to land on one of the shop spots. This is in case you didn't even bother to watch the bonus episode, but I got the Dragon Robe and Gringham Whip, which I was calling the Ultimate Whip. For a uh, tree there. For Alexis, I have a light dress. I found another dragon tail whip, which I've given to the hero. And I also found a few cool things. Dark outfit, which I'll get to at zero once I change into a fighter. Which I'm probably going to do by next episode, because I think I'm going to go ahead and just grind out the levels to get him there. Just because I want to. I also found an Yggdrasil leaf, which I think you can only hold one of at a time. And you can find some in the... Uh, Overworld and Earth, but uh, I never really bothered to get it. I guess I'll show it at some point, but it was not a huge deal to me. But it's a uh, one-time revival item. Also found the Life Ring, which I think if I were to equip, it would give someone the uh, HP regeneration per step, which is what the uh, Light Armor does for the hero. Find a Hard Heart in there, I believe that gives you toughness. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Something that our father gave him. Hmm. I wonder if I can't just walk right in here and take it. Whatever, it belongs to my family anyway. It's another life ring. I don't remember if those give you a personality change if you were to equip them. I'm pretty sure I can just look that up. Yep, sure is. And it's pretty cool. Too bad all you people can't go there. Let's see, the life ring does not appear to give you any kind of a personality change, but it does boost your vitality. The Palace of Prophecy. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So, they're alluding to using the sunstone and rain stuff to make the rainbow drop again. Well, we've done it once before and it works, and maybe we'll do it again. And here's the priest in town. I'm sure you can talk to him to do all the usual churchy things. I don't really care to do any of those, never really need to. Hey, how do I... I wanna... I saw that back entrance, I wanna get in there. Just walk around the outside the building. There we go. I wanna see what's in here. Hmm. No one believes you, huh? Well, I'll check that out if I ever get to the Arkfiend's castle. Now, let's see... There should be some kind of a uh, small medal here, I think. Yeah, there we go. That puts me up to, what, 94? Pretty good. One more than town to get. And it is... Over in the house by the weapon shop. Also, I want to make a stop in at the weapon shop. There should be some things I want to buy. Let's see. I guess it's in here. And maybe one of these dressers? Ooh, a Zen book! Hello! Could turn a character into a sage with that. I've already got enough sages, though. Well, good thing we have that, then, I think. I think that the hero crest was 
the uh, Sacred Talisman I picked up. Probably, you know, multiple names for it. Yes, the Armor of Light is amazing! Let's just search all these spots. Hmm. Else if I actually make sure I can be right at that pot instead of looking between the two of them. Or neither of them had anything good. Yay! There's small metal number 95. Sweet. I'll go pick up the uh, sacred bikini shortly. Which, you know, if I'd known I was going to pick up that small metal on the uh, the cheesy track, then I wouldn't have bothered... Alright, I've already been over there. I wouldn't have bothered getting the dragon robe and selling off a whole bunch of stuff to do it, but it's okay. It's worth being able to show both. Okay, the Bastard Sword, pretty good if you're going to have a um, warrior. Same thing goes for the Ogre Shield and the Great Helm. Too bad I'm not going to use a warrior and I won't need any of that. I might get the Great Helm for the hero, but I think the Ortega Helm is supposed to give him some kind of like protection from ailments. You know, sad, some abnormalities, being put to sleep, that kind of thing. So I want to keep that on him, even though the Great Helm has a 15-point uh, boost to his defense. More importantly, I want to get Falcon Swords for probably both my Sages. And I actually have the money to do it too, which is pretty cool. Just like in the previous game, the Falcon Sword lets you swing twice, and if you have enough strength, it actually becomes pretty useful. And I'll just buy them... Actually, bleh. I have an idea. I'm just going to buy them, put them both in the bag, and I'll take care of equipping them and changing all my equipment around off-screen. Because that takes more than enough time. More time than it's worth to show on-screen. That's pretty much all I wanted to do with my money here, so... Let's go check out some other lo... Well, locales. Cool places around Olive Garden. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't resist this. I need to go and get the uh, sacred bikini. That's a little bit more important to me than going to the next place in the game. Come on. In. Down the well. Let's go. I want to go talk to the guy, give him the small medals, and get the really cool prize. It's so worth it. To put it into perspective of stats, the sacred bikini here should give uh, only like two points less defense than the light dress that Alexis is wearing. So, 208. You see only two points less, but it has a HP regeneration effect like the light armor. And it actually has six more points of defense than the light armor. Which is kind of one of the reasons that I made the hero male, so I wouldn't be tempted to you know, give him the sacred bikini when someone else could use it, whereas the hero is the only one that can actually use the uh, the light armor. Besides, yeah, the hero is kind of supposed to be you anyway, so may as well make him the same gender as I am. So there we go. Kimitri's wearing super awesome underwear of never die and yeah we're gonna just keep that hmm there's still another well there are two more places I really want to go that aren't dungeons and then there's still another dungeon I want to go into so let's head off to those two places first should be just south of Remolder Unfortunately, the Falcon Swords don't seem to split their swings if you kill the target. Fortunately, the feat seems to be really reliable. Let's see here. Um, Man, kind of didn't realize that was separated by water. I guess that means that I need to go find my boat. Now, I would be bothered by all the random battles, except it means that I'm just getting that much more grinding out of the way. 
When I do grind, I'm probably going to go back to Baramos' castle. That way I can try and find more meta battles and get a lot more experience. You know, more quickly. Besides, the enemies they were giving like a thousand XP per fight if you didn't find meta battles. So this, I believe, is the Shrine of Honor. And it's where we're going to be making our uh, Rainbow Staff. Unfortunately, since we don't have the the whatever stuff, <laughs> things, rain staff specifically. We don't have the rain staff, we can't really do that. Um, let's see. I think if we search here. Yeah, we find another small metal. It puts me at 96. The only reward left to get for small metals is a golden ticket, which allows me to play Pachisi as many times as I want. So, if you didn't already, you know, win the stuff at the Pachisi Track of Coal, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Too bad I don't need to do that. The last place we want to go is Mercado, which I believe we heard about a little bit. Oh hey, there's the shrine too. Well, we want to go here too. Find three places I want to check out. Hmm. Well, apparently my dad's been doing something good. Dang, I was hoping there's another one of the small metals there. Apparently not. I think it's actually right here in the middle of this cross shape. Yeah, small metal, 97. Pretty nifty. Oh, that's one of Rubus' servants. Oh, she, uh... She's the one I was talking to at the very beginning of the game. Well, yeah, here I am. Ooh, and there's the rain staff. Cool. Well, now I have everything I need to go and make the... Uh, rainbow drop. And we can make our way over to Zoma. We can also find a silver rosary here. Kind of pointless. I wouldn't really use it myself, but it's there. We should also try and get to Mercado. Um, can I look at the map and... No, I can't really garner any better information. We'll just dock here and walk the rest of the way. I think that's fine. There's still one more dungeon I want to check out, though. Which, if you haven't guessed, will house the hero shield. So, pretty good thing to go get. Couple notes. Uh, apparently those magic wavering can sometimes be pretty resistant to the wind elemental spells, since I used it there and well, with the king sword, and it did nothing to the entire group of four. So I guess it's a crapshoot on whether that works or not. And I just got lucky when I fought them in Rubus's tower. Ooh, Zero just got to level 35. Only three more levels will have revive. No wall around here. That's kind of weird. Well, no wall on the outside, but there's a wall on the inside. Weird. Also, the uh, Voodoo Wiz enemies, when they call for help, they apparently call for... Uh, quarks. You know, like the really weak zombie enemies. Small metal number 38, I believe. I may have lost count by this point. In any case, it's there. And here's another Rockstar Ring. Pretty good. And it's Garin! Really? Hmm. Well, if we go and search his place a little more thoroughly, we'll probably find that Silver Heart. I'm not too concerned about it, though. It's not related to the story, and uh, it just uses it does the same thing that the whistle spell does, which Kimichi already knows. Well, that's a really downer way to look at things, dude. Such a pessimist. Cheesy ticket and party dress in these drawers. Let's see, what little kid says. Oh, thanks, Dick. Maybe everyone here is just, you know so down on their luck because they know that Zoma rules the world and we're all screwed. Hmm. Really? No, you do that. Kinda seems really familiar. Well, we can search through these books, we can probably find some good things. Ooh, a hero guide! That sounds awesome. 
I may end up using that on myself or something. I think that'll make me valiant. Really sure. Hmm. Speaking of, how am I doing on things like that? Getting MP. Wow, I'm at 300 maximum HP. That's pretty freaking good. I think. You know what? I think it's finally time to put those uh, smart glasses on the hero. Not for the wisdom boost, but for the change in uh, personality. He's really been needing to start bulking up on his MP. His intelligence thus the MP, because, well, it's going to get a really good spell at some point. Not in the distant future. And since I'm going to be doing my grinding here between episodes, now seems like a good time to equip that. Now also seems like a good time to cast Step Guard. Hail, old man! You seven. <laughs> right. We'll do that. We have all those things, I believe. I'm hoping that the Holy Crest is just another name for the Sacred Talisman, or whatever it was that Rebus gave us. Hmm. Random sleeping guy. Yeah, everyone here is just... So... I don't know. They believe that their lives are worthless now due to Zoma. Zoma's already beaten them. Here is another monster arena. Good for it. Okay. Let's see. Oh wow, that uh... That mini metal I found in here, small metal, whatever you want to call them. It's apparently the only one in all of Mercado. That's sort of weird. And this should be the last guy. Yeah, so... I... whatever. I think that I'm done here, then. So... Next time, I'll be... stronger. I'll probably get 0 up to 38. The hero will get to whatever level he does in that time. He should be able to learn... I think the most damaging spell in the game is just a matter of what level it is he learns that. And... I don't intend on changing Kimitri or Alexis in any way, other than, you know, making them higher level. I don't think I'm going to give them any new equipment or change their class. Although, if they were to at some point learn every single spell for both Wizards and Clerics, then I would change them into Thieves. They have the equipment to be good Thieves, Thieves a little faster than Sages, and I think Thieves has slightly better equipment draw, so they're really good for the, like, late, late game. Or the post-game. We're honestly probably high enough level to beat the game right now. But I do want to show off everything. Let's see. Should the hero make it to 38, he'll learn the Heal Us All spell, which is Heal Us, but also Heal All. Everyone's HP completely maxed out. Costs a ton of MP, though. And if he makes it the 41, he'll get the most powerful attack spell in the game. I'm not super concerned about actually getting those levels. But should he learn that spell, I want him to actually have the MP to use it. Which is why I gave him the smart glasses. So, Zero is going to be the big change. He's going to become a fighter after learning the most important cleric spells. And then I'm going to level him up a little bit as a fighter so he isn't useless. And I'll see you guys after all that is done. So, Class Summer signing out. I'll see you guys next time.